Hello everyone, this is Allah, your friendly advisor in Ireland. Welcome back to my channel, All About Ireland. A lot of people ask me about what are the good areas to live in in Dublin, Cork, generally in Ireland. And this is what this video is about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually look for uh, good areas in any of these cities with statistical data. Without further ado, let's just dive in. So, if you come to this website, aeromaps.geohive.ie, you get the statistical information related to Dublin city and, you know, zoning and planning, rental market, sales and property valuations, dwell income, you know, BR ratings and, you know, other sensible census key variables that you can look at. But for this uh, video, we are just looking at something called Global Deprivation Index. What it gives us is it gives us the affluence in the city, like five to very affluent. And these are the colors that are used in that particular map. Like red, close to red is extremely disadvantaged. Navy blue is extremely affluent. So let's just look into Dublin's map. I do not have cock here, but yeah, I will talk about cock too. Now, if you see here, uh, this is Dublin here. This is the center, and this is not Dublin. This is South Dublin. Why a lot of people says South Dublin is? You see the blue marks; they're pretty much, you know, half of it. So it means that you know South Dublin is affluent, and even in North Dublin, you know, though the green, uh, it's mostly green. You know, you find few oranges here and there, but not here and there. Most of the places, but there are very affluent areas even in. Not Dublin, like Square, some part of Square, Malahide, Clontarf, Howth. Uh, you know, these are, yeah, Rohini. These are really good areas. Now, within here, like Blanche, you find few, like Castlenock and all, they are very affluent areas. Yeah. Let me zoom in so that you can take a look at this. So, if you really look at the city center there, so you see Irish Town, Rings, and Balls Bridge. Uh, yeah, this is the East World Road, but yeah. The, yeah, this is Docklands, I guess. Yeah. This these are all you know highly affluent areas. Again, navy blue is basically really, really affluent. And if you go down towards Bray, it's all you know uh blue, but again you see bits and pieces here like orange, this dark orange here in close to Ballantyre. It means that they they are deprived. I mean, the factors which Pobal HP depression next took in is the education, the income, the employment, uh, the conditions they live in, the houses, the nature of families, whether it's single fam, single fam, I mean, single parent family or not, uh, kids going to school or not. So, you know, there are multiple factors. Uh, but again, at the end, it'll tell us, you know, whether the family is, I mean, the area is deprived or is it a fluent area. For example, if you see here the Mill, Mill Town and Donnybrook, this is like really affluent and and you know I don't know maybe I'll, I'll give you tips later. Um, this is the area you want to live in. And yeah, if you go further down, you know this is a really good map to know the affluence in um, Dublin. The only thing is, is it, this is from 2016, so things may change uh, over the years. I mean, if you for example here, I used to stay in Ass Town, okay. And I click, uh, I search for Aston there. Yeah, Aston. This is the this will be close area. Now I zoom out. So if you see here, Aston, this is really a front area. I used to live in this area, and there was less crime rate. But if you see behind, there is Finglas and you know other areas which which have high crime rate. So you know you may find these chunks of good areas surrounded by bad areas. Which will increase. I mean, which will, which will make people tell you, you know, don't stay there. But it's not always true. And uh, I stayed in Castle Knock, and you know, Castle Knock is highly affluent area. I was, I was somewhere here, very close to affluence. Um, yeah. So that now currently I stay in Newcastle. So you can search by the address. I bought house here, so. I did enough research for me to, I mean, I use these links and all. Um, if you see it's it's all green on this side and this blue areas, which are affluent, but again, this 2016, 
and most of these areas there are no houses here so i don't know what's why they marked it orange uh, but yes so a mix of uh, good green areas with blue areas you know that should give you good indication that the area is good I mean, if you really look at city west here it says this is all off end but again the area surrounding it it's like you know orange and that's because there's job stone and tala where there is high crime right so you need to choose you know yeah basically you need to choose area where it uh, where, where the area is high affluent but again you also need to make sure that there are less uh orange areas around the place so that you know there's less crime rate and it's good for you this is the best map to you know really come down and see but again as a rule of thumb uh, most of the areas in south dublin are good but i would be personally avoiding you know thala or uh, jobstown you know old one bluebell green hills i would be even avoiding uh, kind of bally farm at inchcore but again some people who live in bally farm and said it's a nice area because you see the green cover here so that probably will will down to you know um, will it help in 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 many ways it means that these were previously orange or dark dark red areas which are turning into light orange and green and then eventually blue for example docklands was a scary area a few years ago but now if you really look at the docklands area it's the one of the high affluent areas in the in this day i used to st i stayed in kimage for two years yeah people said say you know just avoid sumlin but again i stayed just in front of park down here uh, the house is in the uh, orange ish but again this area is covered by uh, i mean on the like on this side it's covered by affluent and green like terrain new and all uh, whereas on the left it was all crumbling so i had no issues you know walking and doing stuff in this part of the area in this part of the area i used to encounter some kids uh used to take fun in you know uh commenting and they never physically harm me but again yeah that's that's it you know again cormac rocker is from this area it seems like that so you can this map goes down to street and area to the house location and you can search so this is a really good map to know the affluence and deprivation i don't want to stereotype here i mean deprived area doesn't really mean that they're bad areas so that's the reason you need to really look at the crime rate in that area too maybe a poor area but may may have this crime like most of the villages might be orange or dark orange uh, for example the newcastle one may it's because it's orange because of different factors there's a reason you know there are few checks which we need to do which i'll come to at the end of this video and i'll quickly show you uh, another observation here now this is the same global hp index on few of the things uh, i'll just go towards the yeah this this one here is this is center if you see in 2006 this is the map moved to 2011 you see this area this area changed in affluence from 2016 they became more affluent and yeah like more bad areas to lesser bad areas to much lesser bad areas and look at 2021 it would be completely different so the situation is improving year on year that's the reason why i brought this up and um, yeah this is the crime rate per population which actually i told you know uh, you need to also look at the crime rate to understand whether the area is good or not and this one here is newcastle and uh, within crime rate you have few things here and okay, let me just do this like this is this one this uh let me this this map here okay it's just public order and uh, you know basically um, people who are disturbing other people you know not the killings murders and all so the yellow is good uh, whereas orange is bad dark orange is very bad and red is super bad now if you go to burglar so most of the things uh, again this is 2016 but most of the things turn orange and you click on attempts to threats and murder yeah so even the good areas of dublin have turned darker and drug offenses and you know basically you can look at different kind of data and you know again this is 
this doesn't really give you the data till what you call till the street level but again area wise it will tell you what exactly is happening and this data is from garda stations whereas i mean newcastle now so the actual garda station is in clundalkin and it covers uh, sagat i think it's ragat sagat rathkul and uh, newcastle so if, if, the, if there is high crime rate in clundalkin it will it will show uh, you know that even newcastle and uh, rathkul are bad but where it's not true that's the reason you need to go to local that is, I'll give you tips how to find the good areas. So uh, you can use uh, arrow maps to find the really good area. See, there'll be people telling you to avoid fingers, uh, avoid Blanche, avoid few um, like, for example, Green, Green Hills, Bally Ferment, and uh, Bluebell, you know, Tala, uh, Jobstown. Some people even tell to avoid uh, City West, you know best is to you know some people who live there they say oh they're brilliant today just like i was i lived in kimi they say okay kimi is good so you need to really look at this map search for the address here you get you get to know a good picture and this is true for buying house it's true for renting house so both ways this map really helps and uh, i did not find anything for cog but here here is the map I mean, the, here's a document which I found, uh, which is really, which really has some information around what park about and uh, how many people are educated and stuff. And this one map which I want to show, uh, like, uh, yeah, this is the purple depression index which I wanted to show. If you see here, um, Rochestown, um, Frankfield, Ballinlock, you know, Blarney. A uh, few areas here which are back in, you know, they are good areas, whereas the orange one are not, and those are surrounded around Blackpool, Mayfield, and Farm Ferries. Otherwise, yeah, I've been to Blackrock Village, it's a beautiful village. And yeah, I did not encounter any issue. So that's about COG, that's about Dublin, that's how you find, um, you know, good houses to rent or to live in. But th at the end, you know, a few things that you need to do wherever you're you're planning to rent wherever you're planning to buy a house walk to that area three times a day uh like morning evening and night to see if anyone is hanging around or even is hurling abusers and if someone is being scared away you know it's good to get the personal touch uh personal experience of that area and not just that area you know you're not just the house you also need to go to neighboring estates uh, walk around talk to people ask them over the place and uh, find the amenities and stuff uh, which are in the place and you can always go to local garda station and uh, ask them about local crime rate and they're they are supposed to give you information i did that and i got to know that you know the area i currently bought the house in has really low crime rate so if you're even if you're renting you know make sure that you get this information so that you're safe and you do not have this mental tension that uh, if I step out, I'd be attacked. You know, that's the worst thing one can have in any country or any place or any city or village. That fear of living in a place where you may be attacked at any time, it's just so annoying. And there's a reason, you know, you need to do a lot of work in choosing the place you plan to stay in. And the best thing is to talk to the neighbors go to the local shops ask them if they ever encountered any uh antisocial behavior uh, or someone hurling knife or burglaries or you know thieving thieving around and you know picking around so look at that and the other way to find out more about the area is to visit the facebook groups like newcastle as a facebook group rathkul as a facebook group clondalkin as a facebook group I'm imagining every other area like Aston would be having Facebook groups. So please join there. Just go through the post, see if any crime is being reported. If it is, what action has been taken? And if if there is uh, anyone there that can actually help you with the details. Last thing is check, check everything. Check whether there are schools, there are amenities, there's uh, public transport, uh, low crime rate, and any football clubs around, any sports. Uh, favorite pastimes, cinemas, you know, uh, because you need to keep yourself sane for a long time. Always find the best area that you can get. 
that's it you know it's very simple i mean i went through practical and logical and analytical way of telling you which areas are good uh, but that's the best way you know instead of just relying on someone's comment or someone's uh, description because they may stereotype sometimes some areas some areas are good but again yeah you need to be really careful about where you're staying and that's it uh, this video is sponsored by careerireland.com it's a one stop place for all career counseling and cv writing and resume support uh, you can visit them at www.careerireland.com and you can write to them at connect@careerireland.com if you need help or if you are looking for some support with respect to your job hunting thank you hope you subscribe to my channel comment below if you have any questions around an area i can give you more details thank you